Well, hello civilians. Welcome back to our channel. And today we will be answering a question whether millennials really make great entrepreneurs or not. So let's begin. Now, I believe that you've heard about the millennials. Yes, they are the same narcissist, ego-driven and lazy beings that were born between the 80s and the late 90s. Well, that's not an official definition of a millennial, but certainly a stereotype. Now, we don't know what originated that. Maybe the age of information that we were born into. So, do millennials really make great entrepreneurs? Well, we don't know about that, but they sure do have an entrepreneurial spirit, to say the least. Today, millennials make almost 50% of the workforce, but still the spirit of entrepreneurship is as bright as ever. According to a survey done on undergraduates, 60% say that they hope to start their own venture in the future and in that, 45% think that they really will start. Some don't even wait for that long as 20% have already started their own businesses while still being in college. However, there are always two sides of the story as 30% say that even though they have the entrepreneurial spirit, but they won't probably take the leap. Now, what's holding them back? Even though the entrepreneurial aspirations are prevalent in the millennials, but that doesn't mean that they don't have any problems in their entrepreneurial journey. We all know that how tough it is to get the business up and running from the ground and it's not that different for the millennials as well. Now we will be discussing about some of the problems that they face while starting and running a business. Now the first problem is financial problems. Can you tell what's the most common hurdle in starting a business? You guessed it right. It's the money and it's no different for the millennials as well as they also need money. And in fact, 42% of the millennials cited lack of funds as the primary obstacle in starting their own business. No wonder 58% also report that they are still carrying student debt. Well, we can make altogether a different video about it and we will in the future. But now we come to our second point and that is lack of knowledge. Now financial hurdle is one thing, but lack of business know-how is also one of the biggest reasons or we should say perhaps the biggest reason as 70% said that they are not getting started because of it. We know you might be thinking that they should take the leap and learn along the way. But like the above stats said that 58% are still carrying student debt. So it's hard to risk any more money or to even get more money to risk. Now the third point is wrong partners. Consider this coming from our own personal experience. I'm a millennial too, so I guess I can tell you that. Nothing can spoil a good business than a bad partnership and not only business, it can damage the relationship between the partners as well. It's always good to clear your expectations from one another so that you can save that business from falling later on and more importantly, you can also save your precious relationship with one another. Now the fourth point is no market need. Millennial or not, if there is no market need for a product then you can't succeed at it. No matter how much funding you have or how good knowledge you and your partners possess, many entrepreneurs perish because they created something that they thought the market needed. But the market said, nah man, I'm good. It's always better to do your market research before doing any actual groundwork because that way you can save yourself a lot of trouble and resources as well. But these things can't stop our brave millennials into venturing on the road of entrepreneurship. As according to a report of PNB Paribas, entrepreneurs between the ages of 20 and 35 on average have already founded double the amount of businesses as those who were over the age of 50. Take that boomers. And now we will be talking about those five millennials who really made it big as entrepreneurs. And the first one is Mark Zuckerberg, who has a net worth of more than $100 billion as of recording this video. Now who doesn't know this guy? He probably made the most impacting social media platform Facebook and he is still acquiring the new ones to defend his crown. Facebook reached a billion users in 2012 and after that the rest is history. Now Mark Zuckerberg is also the youngest centi billionaire. That means he's the youngest person to earn a net worth of more than $100 billion. Now the second is Ben Silverman and Evan Sharp and they have a net worth of $2.1 billion and $1 billion respectively. Ben and Evan founded the quirky social media platform Pinterest that enables you to share and save information via images and GIFs. It is super popular among the creative people and younger generation. Now the third one is Jessica Alba and she has a net worth of more than $350 million. Now you might be a little surprised because we were talking about entrepreneurs and suddenly a gorgeous actress came up. But she's also an entrepreneur if you don't know. She created the Honest Company which promotes ethical and non-toxic products and the company is now valued at more than $1 billion. Now that's really an honest company. 
Now the fourth one is Mike Krieger and Kevin Systrom who have a net worth of $400 million and $1.9 billion respectively. They founded one of the most hot and happening social media platform, Instagram, which should have given Facebook a run for its money, but Mark Zuckerberg acquired it soon enough. This platform is completely a photo and video sharing platform which is pretty popular with younger generations who want to share each and everything that's happening in their life. Now the fifth one is Brian Chesky and he has a net worth of more than $3 billion. This guy revolutionized the entire hotel industry when he came up with the idea of Airbnb. Today many travelers are able to get affordable places to stay all thanks to his brilliant idea. Airbnb is now valued at more than $100 billion after its successful IPO in 2020. Well these were just few names and I guess now you know that despite having the entitled mark stuck on our foreheads, we millennials really worked hard and went big. Believe me, if you think you can't do anything great just because the society thinks you're some sort of spoiled brat, then that should be the reason good enough to show them that you got guts and announce your arrival to the whole entire world. Well that was it for today's civilians. If you liked our content then please like, comment, share and subscribe. Your likes motivate us to make more content just for you and do follow us on Instagram. Our community of like-minded people is growing bigger day by day. So thanks for being with us until the end and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.